Today we're going to do a site installation on a SIG P320 Compact. Just so everybody knows, this is the same installation method for the SIG P220, P226, P228, the Springfield XD, and basically any handgun that doesn't use a Novak type rear that has a dovetail front. We're going to begin by removing the front sight from the slide. With the factory front sight removed, we can now begin by checking the fitment of the replacement front. It will just start into the dovetail, but it doesn't go quite halfway through. We'll go ahead and take a little material off the bottom of it. And as we've shown in the past, we want to take the sight, put it on a file that's placed on a flat surface and drag the bottom of the side against the serrations. We're going to rotate the side 180 degrees and repeat the process. This allows us to ensure that we maintain a flat cut on the bottom of the dovetail. Go slowly and check often. It doesn't take much to have removed too much to work correctly. It's pulling in just about where I want it. Now I'm going to use a non-marring punch and a hammer and drive it into place. After we've removed the material, we're going to check it again. That's about right to allow me to get a good friction fit with a hammer and a punch. I'm going to go ahead and remove it from the slide and degrease with the female cut on the slide and the male dovetail on the site before I assemble this completely. Now that everything is degreased and dry, I'm going to go ahead and get it back together. Using a hammer and a non-marring punch of some sort, I'm going to drive the rear sight, or the front sight, into place. And I'm going to visually center it in the slide. Once that's done, we'll apply the red thread liking compound down in the bottom of the dovetail on each side of the front sight blade and at the juncture of the front sight and the top of the slide. Give that a couple of minutes to creep in and then we'll clean off the excess. Now that that's had a couple of minutes for the red thread locker to creep in, we're going to go ahead and use a Q-tip. Remove what did not creep in. The installation of the front side is now complete. Time to move on to the rear side. Got the slide switched in the vise so that we can hang on to it and remove the factory rear. Same thing. Take a hammer and a punch, drive the factory sight off. Take the new rear sight, and we're going to go ahead and check for fitment. In this case, it slides in just like it should. There's no need to remove any material. Take the rear sight out of the, out of the dovetail. And using a, a Q-tip, and in this case, gun scrubber, we're going to go ahead and degrease both the female dovetail cut on the slide and the bottoms, the bottom and the sides of the site that we're going to install. 
once everything has been degreased, insert the rear sight back into the dovetail cut, visually center it up, and snug the set screws. It's kind of hard to show on the video, but we're just barely snugging them. Once you feel the screw contact the slide, don't go more than an eighth of a turn. The screws are basically there to hold everything in place until the red thread locker can set up. All right. Once we have the sight in place, set screw snugged, we're going to go in just like the front sight and apply the red thread locking compound. drops down in the dovetail on each end of the site as well as at the contact points at the top of the slide and the site itself. Let that sit for a couple of minutes and we'll clean off what doesn't creep in. Alright, now that that's had a couple of minutes to allow the red thread locker to creep in, we're going to go ahead, just like the front site, take a Q-tip and remove the red Loctite that is still sitting out. All right, installation is done. We can now reassemble the handgun, give it at least an hour before we take it out to shoot it. But we'll go shoot it as quick as we can.